Sarah Borks and Quito, and in conjunction with Near Eats Reap Week 2020 Virtual Investor Conference, I'm joined today by video link with Steve Bedorek, President and CEO of Corporate Office Properties Trust. Steve, welcome. Thank you for having me. Can you describe COP's tenant base and how that positions the company in today's uncertain environment? The Corporate Office Properties Trust is an office REIT, but we concentrate our activity in uh, Department of Defense related missions uh, serving the U.S. government and primarily defense contractors. So it positions us extremely well. The um, existing leases that we have of in that set of leases, 65% of our lease space has facilities to handle the highest level of secret information our U.S. government maintains. And the other 20% has extremely high levels of security requirements as well. So given the nature of those missions, there it is not possible for uh, employees to work from home. The work has to be done in the classified environment. So 85% of our tenant base is uh, um, essential and needs to be in their office space. And if anything, in the, uh, adv in the advent of new standards, they would need to expand that contract. We also have 15% that are non-defense related tenants, and those are marquee tenants in finance, medicine, and insurance. Um, and so we're in, we're in great shape considering the environment. 2019 was a record year for COPT in terms of development leasing. What are your expectations for 2020? Well, first I wanna take you back a little bit and give you some history. From 2011 to 2018, our, our company averaged about 900,000 square feet of new development leasing each year. <clears throat> With the significant increases in defense spending, particularly the fiscal year 2018, we we're able to achieve record new development leasing of 2.2 million square feet in 2019. <clears throat> that um, exhausted several of the opportunities we had been working concurrently but we're still in a position to achieve a million square feet or more in 2020. What design changes, if any, might be required by your tenants in response to the coronavirus crisis? So th those discussions are largely speculative right now. <clears throat> what we have learned anecdotally from some of the architecture firms planning new space is that there, should, there could be an increase in the number of private offices and potentially an offsetting contraction of the size of an office. And certainly the systems furniture manufacturers are introducing products to create, if you will, uh, shields on the cubes to provide a little more protection from uh, employee to employee. But thus far, uh, we've achieved several leases during the quarter and the design changes really were not discussed or implemented. Steve, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. And for more news and information on REITs and listed real estate, be sure to visit NARIT's website, REIT.com.